I'm Liv Davis and this is LSTV's coverage of Varsity 2024. I'm here with <laughs> Dr. Anna Stodger, <laughs> Amelia McEwen. <laughs> Um, so Anna, starting with you, so how did you get into coaching in general and then more specifically with Leeds Beckett? Uh, well, I'm still quite new to Leeds Beckett. I moved to Leeds uh, a year and a half ago. Um, before that, I was coaching at the University of Cambridge. Um, so just got into coaching through um, being a former player and then sort of studying coaching as well. Yeah, so obviously you mentioned about study, uh, studying, <laughs> coaching in Cambridge. Um, you also coached in Scotland as well. So what would you say is different about your coaching experience in Leeds compared to Cambridge in Scotland? Uh, well, this is my first big sort of head coach kind of gig. So it's been different sort of being in charge and being in charge of a kind of programme of rugby over a longer period of time. So it's been a really fun challenge to sort of make my mark on, on the team and like see what influence I can have. Um, so you also played for the um, Scotland uh, team. So what was that like playing for a national team? Yeah, I mean, it was amazing. It was something that I never thought that I would have the chance to do, but I took up rugby quite late in life at university as well. And so um, some of the opportunities that came from that were things I could never have imagined happening. So that's partly why I want to be involved in coaching and particularly university rugby, just to see if I can help with similar kind of opportunities for other people and help them realise potential that maybe they didn't know they have as well. So do you say you started rugby as you got to uni yeah um so why did you kind of want to get involved with it uh well I used to play football and I got kind of bored of that <laughs> I didn't really like the coach um and I just had friends that played rugby they needed some extra players for a freshers team and so I just turned up and played and ended up being quite good at it without actually knowing what I was doing at all so yeah kind of learned to play while I was on the pitch no one really taught me <laughs> what, what I was doing so yeah, just had a great time, made some really great friends and wanted to continue from there. Um, so, Amelia, I'm going to move on to you now. Um, so, as a fresher coming in, what was the tryouts like for Leeds Beckett Rugby? Have you played rugby coming before coming to uni? Or? Yeah, like I played before, but it wasn't, it wasn't massive. I sort of, not late, but compared to a lot of people on the team who've played from, you know, childhood. I started about... 16, 15, 16, and it was just because my dad's mate, he, he was a teacher at my school, and he was trying to start a girls' team, so he was like, go on, Amelia, like, help him out. So I sort of just went along, and actually just really enjoyed it. And then, obviously, COVID hit, so I missed two or three seasons, so it was sort of, like, not massive rugby experience, but sort of was as well, like, like played club and stuff like that. So it was quite enjoyable. Then came to uni, came to a couple of the pre-season trainings and then I think the good thing that we had, we had a pre-season friendly against Nottingham Trent and in that it wasn't really, this is the set team, it was like everyone who's available sort of comes and then I went on and I played like three different positions <laughs> so it was just a bit like see where you can go and then obviously I put my mind to being flanker anyway so I, when I was there obviously try my best to get that shirt and luckily it worked out for me. Yeah, so obviously, you know, you play number seven position, flanker. What yeah. would you say is the most important part about being in that position? I think it's very much like getting out, like, it's being proactive in, like within the, the game, you know, like getting around the pitch, making sure you're putting loads of pressure on the 10, coming off the scrum, putting in big hits, getting in the rocks. It's all just being everywhere, making a mess. Just having the impact that you can. Really. Wreaking a bit of havoc. Yeah, that's the aim. <laughs> yeah, so um, could you, kind of opening up the question to both of you, could you both kind of summarise your season so far in three words? You go first. Uh, enjoyable. Obviously, first season at uni, I didn't know what to expect. Enjoyed it massively. Um, everyone's, it's, it's a big team, do you know what I mean? So, enjoyable. Um, I think we've learnt a lot, because obviously... The season, we've had quite a few narrow losses. So, maybe, what word can we use? <laughs> well, I was going to say lots of learning, which is yeah, three words. Well, that is three words, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Enjoyable. Learning loads. <laughs> Love that. Yeah. Um, so, obviously, you've mentioned literally just then about, you know, um, your games, whether you win or all um, lost, yeah. being really close in score. So, how would you kind of rank yourselves competitively compared to like your other fellow league teams? I think our position in the table does not show how strong of a team we are because obviously we've we've come bottom of the league but it doesn't know like when you see the points they've been such close losses and it's sort of just been 
so like little mistakes or decisions obviously not going our way in some cases but that doesn't reflect us or our you know how good we are as a team and I think if people just came to watch you'd see oh actually they deserve to be in this league but just things haven't really gone our way but it just drives us more for next season um yeah I'd agree with that that I think that's a really fair kind of yeah. uh yeah summarizing of the of the situation um yeah, I think we it's a really quick season. It's over so quickly and um we'd just been promoted into that league and we're just getting used to it and then we're, you know, losing some of our final games by one point is so close. So uh, it's a shame that we um, potentially won't get a chance to, to continue with that. But as Amelia said, uh, we've learned lots from that and it brings us closer together. Um and it's been more about like what can we learn from that and um what can we do to be better as a team um, to learn from that and bring it into games like varsity match? Yeah, well, I mean, moving on to varsity, obviously, massive game. Um, Amelia, you know, you're, you're in first year, you're a fresher. Yeah. How, how does that feel, going to varsity in your first year? I'm so excited because everyone, everyone does this massive hype around varsity and obviously, like, the huge rivalry between Uni of and Beckett. So I'm just excited more than anything. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I think it's a chance to show what we can do and our ability um, and at Heavenly Stadium as well, like who wouldn't want to go and show off as much as he can? So that's my attitude towards it, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and Anna, obviously, you know, as the coach, is there anything you're changing, kind of strategy-wise or improving, looking to improve on heading, um, leading up to Vasti? Um, I wouldn't say we would change too much, but I think it's a different challenge in that um, we've been sort of kind of going through uh, league games one by one, but then obviously varsity is just a one-off. So um, we're mixing up our training a little bit now. We're doing a few different bits and bobs just to like keep it interesting. And then when it gets to sort of six weeks before, we'll start to be a bit more methodical in the way that we, pre we prepare. Um, and as a player, I always loved big games. So I think it's just about, yeah, going out there and just having a great time and um, rising to the occasion almost. Yeah, yeah. So, um, obviously, Varsity is highly spectated, and obviously, uh, Anna is a professional player. Have you got any kind of tips for Amelia heading into her first Varsity game? Oh, Amelia is very different for me. <laughs> like, I'm sure she, she can come up with her own strategies. Like, she's been great all seasons. Um, but I suppose, um, I think just, like, enjoy it. Like, we've got the kind of all the prep and all of the kind of bits before the game, like... Take, take the take the chance to enjoy it and soak it up and then like once we get playing you just do what you always do and like focus on the processes that we've been doing all season basically would be my my thoughts but I'm sure she's got her own spin on things <laughs> <laughs> fab um so fun question to finish uh what is kind of you both of you kind of uh, favorite way to celebrate after a win after a game um obviously the obvious answer is there's always a social after <laughs> but I think like focusing on straight after the game we have a little sing song straight after we're all in a circle we sing our Beckett chant <laughs> dance around um so I'd say that's probably the best bit because whether we win or we lose we always sing that song anyway so it's just sort of like I was gonna say is it yeah. gonna come out at varsity are we gonna hear that yeah <laughs> so probably I don't know we just say like, it brings us together and it's like no matter what we've all enjoyed the game no matter what the score is and I think that's always a good morale boost so yeah. definitely that but obviously seeing your friends and family every there it'll be great so yeah yeah um, I think just like pick out the positive aspects of it and celebrate those. Um, I'm a big fan of a craft beer, so I'd maybe have one of those. <laughs> just one or two. Or three. Or four. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fab. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Um, so I've been Liv. This is LSTV's coverage of Varsity 2024. I've been here with Anna and Amelia.